Northern Ireland. The country once described by James Craig as a Protestant state for a Protestant people. This is no longer the case, as there has been massive population change in this country. This is a map of the religious demographics in Northern Ireland in 1991. Here is the country 20 years later in 2011. Here is the crowd of Protestant loyalists in the Ulster Cessna rally outside Belfast City Hall in 1985. Here is loyalist flag protesters in 2013. So the question is, what happened to the Protestant majority? From the 2011 census we can see that the gap has narrowed to just 3%. Protestants accounting for 48% and Catholics accounting for 45%. But what about the future? Here is some data from the 2011 census. We can see the age groups and the proportion of each group in terms of religious background. You can see that the under 65 population already has a Catholic majority. We can see that a big proportion of the aging population are Protestants. The elderly make up a significant proportion of the Protestant population. As time moves on so too will the population and by 2031 it is predicted that this will be the population. There will be a Catholic majority. Nearly all Catholics vote for nationalist parties so it is likely there will be a nationalist majority. People will argue that this does not guarantee a united Ireland. It doesn't. But it is known that almost no Catholics vote for unionist parties like the DUP, so there is almost certainly going to be a nationalist majority. Thank you for watching.